Hi, it's Miss Candy again. I'm so glad you're back. Um, let's look at what we learned yesterday and we can remember our story that we learned about, about Matthew. Jesus chose Matthew and when we, when we read that story, we learned that Jesus chooses to love me. He chooses to love us. He loves you. Um, and there's nothing that Matthew could do and there's nothing that you or I could do to earn that or deserve it. Jesus just loves us. He does every day. Um, so let's look at the next level of our building that we're building with our stories. Uh, today's story is about Paul listened and obeyed. So I have some pictures that I've drawn. Um, I think, I hope they show up. Um, they're just simple pictures. There's a road and a heart. And I want you to listen as I tell the Bible story and see if you can find where those things might come into our Bible story. So our story is about Paul and how he listened and obeyed, and it's from the book of Acts in our Bible. And this is Paul right here, and we're going to figure out why he's sitting on the ground like that. So let's listen to the story. One day, Paul was traveling on a road to a city named Damascus. He was going there because he did not like people who loved Jesus, and he wanted to hurt them and put them in jail. Um, but on his way, something amazing happened to Paul. Paul saw a light, even brighter than the sun. And it was so bright that it hurt his eyes and he couldn't see. Uh, he fell to the ground and I bet he felt really surprised and maybe confused, maybe scared. Um, Paul heard a voice ask, why was he hurting people? And this scared Paul because he couldn't see anybody and didn't know who was talking. So Paul asked, who was the voice? And the voice answered, I am Jesus. Jesus told Paul to go and tell people that God loves them. And when Paul could see again, Paul obeyed Jesus. He changed the way he lived and he didn't hurt people anymore. He told people about what had happened to him on the road, and he told people that God loves them no matter what they've done. So let's think about the story and see if you can think of a place where there was a road. There was a road where Paul was walking to Damascus. And what about the sun? There was a bright light that shined in his eyes. What, this is a hard one though. Where was a heart? There was love, two places. There was love. Um, Jesus, uh, Jesus told Paul to go and tell people that God loves them and that he loves them, God loves them no matter what they've done. So I have the next level of our story here that we can put on our building. It says, Jesus loves me no matter what. So no matter what Paul had done, and no matter what you or I have done, Jesus loves you no matter what. I'm gonna put it right here on our building. It looks so cool. There it is. So Paul taught us some great lessons um, about Jesus. And then, let's see, the other thing I want to do before we go is go over our Bible verse. We have our Bible verse tool belt here, and if I tape it right here, we should be able to do the actions and say the words. So try and remember the actions and try to say the words at home while we do our Bible verse. It starts with, I know that God, that's the, he, that's the word God is on the hammer, God started a good work in me and he will complete it. Philippians 1, 6. So uh, we'll keep going over that this week. See if you can remember the motions. You can practice at home because in your activity book, the Bible verse is written right here at the top. I know that God started a good work in me and he will complete it. So let's see, we might have done the first couple pages. Yesterday we talked about um, Matthew when we circled the hearts that were missing and that, that were hidden. And today's Bible story, Paul listened and obeyed, is right here on this page. You can read it again at home, maybe read it tonight with your family. Um, and this page says, can you find your way from the bottom of the building to the top? Climbing up the ladders and get all the way up to the top of the building where it says, Jesus loves me no matter what. And on this side, you can draw a ray of light to help you remember the story of Paul up in the sky because Paul saw that bright light up in the sky. Um, that's that book you can work on this afternoon at home. Um, let's finish with a, with a prayer and then we'll finish out for the day. 
Uh, thank you, God, for always loving us and for the promise that you will complete the work that you started in us. Amen. I'm so glad you were here today, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.